Tour Guy Show. Welcome to episode number two. Last week we talked about uh, lawnmowers and also how gas can cause problems in your lawnmower and did a basic tune-up on a four-cycle engine. This week we promised that we were going to talk a little bit about working on two-cycle engines. Now that's a trimmer and over here what I've done is I pulled some parts off a trimmer so that I can show you what they are and what normally goes wrong with the gas on a, a two-cycle trimmer. Now trimmers come in every brand, every size and what a two-cycle means is that you have to add oil to the gas. Now last week I came over here and I talked a little bit about what gas looks like when it's normal. A normal gas is going to be a clear yellow color. If you're using two cycle gas, it's going to be a blue, a red, or some other color because you've added oil to your gas. That's the lubricant for the engine. It also keeps the gas normally going bad if it has fuel stabilizer in it. Well, if you ever come across your two cycle engine and it doesn't have some color to it, what's probably happened is you put regular gas in it. And if you run that more than just a couple minutes or even a minute, you're probably going to ruin your engine. So make sure you always have a two cycle oil that has some dye in it. Now, if your engine all of a sudden stops running right, if it's not working the way it's supposed to, most likely what's happening is you're having a fuel problem. Now that could be many different things. It could be that the fuel lines that feed the carburetor have become brittle or broken. Last week we talked about um, having alcohol that was added to the fuel. Well, it can make these lines very, very hard and eventually they break, allowing gas to escape. And also what will end up happening is it'll suck air into the carburetor. If you notice this one, the heat from the engine and also the uh, fuel has made this part of the uh, the tube very very brittle very hard and uh, you know that needs to be replaced so I went ahead to make it easy and pulled a few of these off so come on over here for a second the first thing and the number one thing that I have people tell me all the time is that their primer bulb went bad well this is a primer bulb on a two cycle engine you can't go into a lawnmower shop and ask hey can I get a new primer bulb that's like going into O'Reilly's and telling them that you need a door handle they're gonna ask you a door handle for what for a Chevy what Chevy what year what model I don't know well we can't help you either bring your old primer bulb so to make that easy for you I'm gonna show you how to do it the primer bulb comes on top of the carburetor you loosen up these four screws and I've started already taking these four screws off to make it easy and what you'll find is that the primer bulb is captured behind these four screws and it's held on by this this metal plate let me show you and that's the primer bolt you take it off make sure you don't disturb the rest of it you put the new primer bulb in now when I told you there's lots of different styles this is just a partial list of the different possibilities when you wander in the door and you ask for a primer bulb well is it that primer bulb is it that primer bulb? Is it this primer bulb? Is it this primer bulb? Well, you get the picture really quick. It could be any number of different primer bulbs. So what I want you to do is either bring the whole trimmer in to your lawnmower shop or bring in just the primer bulb, moving those four screws. So what you're going to do is you're going to place that new primer bulb inside the holder. You're going to find your, your trimmer, put the primer bulb back on top, and replace the screws the way that you took them off of each one of the equipment. Now, once these screws are fully secured and back in place, you'll be able to press the primer bolt and you hear that noise? That's the air being sucked through the carburetor. Well, when this is hooked up to your, your trimmer, what you're going to find out is uh, it's not sucking air, it's going to be sucking gas and making your trimmer run. Now Jamie Schweiger sent in on AskTheMowerGuy.com a question of the week on his trimmer. Let's go to that video right now. Hey mower guy, my trimmer quit working and I noticed the fuel line was broken. What should I do? Good question Jamie. What I've done is I've set aside a trimmer here that needs some new fuel lines. And I want to show how the fuel line is, is taken from the tank to the carburetor, back to the engine, so that uh, if you have this problem at home, you know how to replace your fuel lines. Now on these fuel lines, it's a very simple process, it's just very time consuming. 
Basically, the first thing that you need to do is remove your air filter cover. That's where you're going to have your air filter and the cover to your trimmer. Behind this uh, plate right here is where you're going to find your carburetor and also access to all of the fuel lines. So by taking out these screws, and you're going to need a, a, a star drive, most likely, to, to do it, you get access to the carburetor and it basically gives you um, a lot more moving room when dealing with these fuel lines. Here's what's happening. The fuel is coming in through the small fuel line into your carburetor. It's going through the carburetor to these large lines. It is being sucked out of the carburetor, not pumped into the carburetor, back into your tank. So what's happening is it's coming from the small fuel lines providing fuel into the carburetor. The large fuel line is evacuating fuel from the carburetor that's not being used in the engine. And then this line, when you pump it, as you can see, is pumping fuel back into the tank. It's a closed cycle. These fuel lines and the fuel lines that go into the tank are the, the fuel lines that we're going to replace. Now this is the easy part to replace because you can see exactly where every one of the hoses. The hard part is getting the hoses inside the little holes inside this tank. And we're going to take care of that. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to go down to the lawnmower shop and you need to buy the proper hoses. If you notice that the hoses that I had over here were of two different sizes. You have a small hose and you have a large hose. Every trimmer is different. And so you want to take a sample of your hoses down to the lawnmower shop and you can come to Carlsbad Small Engine and we'll be happy to sell you all the hoses you want and give you all the free advice that we can. Or you can go to askthemoreguy.com and get your hoses. But in the meantime, get the hoses that you need because if you get the wrong size hoses, what's going to happen is on the inside of this, there are two little holes. These two little holes are different sizes. These hoses have to go into these holes, into the tank, seal the gas so the gas doesn't leak. If you put the wrong size hose because it fits easy in the hole, in the wrong hole, what's going to happen is all the gas in your gas tank is simply going to leak out in your garage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of hose and we're going to run it in. The trick to getting the hose into the tank is to have the proper tools. Remove the gas cap. Now it's needless to say, while you're doing this, if you're a camel or a lucky strike smoker, put the cigarettes out. Don't smoke. Don't have open fires. Don't do nothing around this because this is filled with gasoline and if you get a spark on this or if you get an open flame near this, it's venting right now, you'll start a fire. Now, take your hose. Place the hose into the hole. If you're having difficulty getting into the hole, change the angle of the machine. Now what we use is a bracket to hold it, but if you have a vise at home or something like that to hold it steady, it makes it a lot easier. You push your hose in, then the trick is you have to have some surgical tools. So if you happen to know a doctor in town or a surgeon, get a pair of forceps, reach inside this, grab that piece of hose and pull it on through. What will happen is you now have a good solid seal on your tank. You're going to take this and you're going to repeat the process. On your return line, and that's what this was, remember it was the bigger lines, the return line, you don't need a lot of extra slack. So you're going to cut it off, pull it down, and now you've replaced that line. On your feed line, which is the smaller line, even though it looks like you only need about, well, four or five inches, you also need another four or five inches because it's going to flop around the inside of the tank. So when you're holding your machine and you turn it this way or you turn your machine that way, what's happening on the inside of your, your tank is a weighted filter is moving around in there making sure that you always have access to that little bit of gas in the bottom. So you just simply do the process that I just showed you. Take this small line, feed it through, leave yourself about this much extra uh, fuel line add your weight to it and hook it all back up and you'll have a trimmer that's good as new. So at this point you can wrap this up.
put all the fuel lines back in place, and put it back together the same way that you took it apart. If you run into any problems, bring the whole trimmer and the equipment down to Carlsbad Small Engine, we'll be happy to help you. Now before we wrap up the show today, there's one safety issue that I wanted to show you that we didn't address last week on four cycle mowers. Blade maintenance is very, very important on a mower. If your blade begins to look like this, and what I mean by this is that the tips are beginning to get faded away, you've got pieces of metal that are starting to bend, this is because of the sand and the dirt and the climate that we have in the southeast. Well, what this does is it slowly thins down the metal and makes the blade deteriorate. This blade should, when it's new, look like that blade on the end. It should be square, it should be solid, and it should be a fairly thick blade. Why? Because if you hit something, you don't want a large chunk of metal slinging off and hitting somebody. It can get embedded in your leg. It can also cause some real serious injuries. On top of that, you won't get a good mow. If you notice, it's shorter than when it was when it was brand new. Your mower depends on a good, new, sharp blade. So go outside next time you mow, tilt your mower over, take a look at it. If you see that your blade's starting to look like this, I want you to come down to Carlsbad Small Engine or go to the AskTheMowerGuy.com website and order a new blade because it will make your grass look better, healthier, and it's a lot safer for you and your family. So we've talked about four cycle mowers, we've talked about trimmers and keeping them going, but you know that autumn's coming, kids are going back to school, and it's probably time to start thinking about the winter. Now one of the things that we have here at Carlsbad Small Engine is a great supply of chainsaws, but I also want to show you something for a Christmas idea. So come outside and let me show you. Now trimmers and uh, chainsaws are great for dad. But this is family fun for everyone. We have a whole selection of go-karts for Christmas. You know, come down, pick out the go-karts you want. We'll keep it under wraps for Christmas for you and store it in our warehouse right up until Christmas Eve so you don't have to worry about playing hide the go-karts. We have a huge selection that you cannot wait to the last minute because all the go-karts and all the selection will be gone. So this is a huge opportunity for you. Come down to Carl's Fast Mode. Now don't forget, Every day when everybody's going up to the high school, drop the kids off, drop in and see us right here at Carl's Fat Small Engine. We've got them ready to go. And you know what? You can even test drive it. Well, thanks for watching the second episode of Ask the Mower Guy. Come and visit us during the month on askthemowerguy.com. One thing we wanted to show you is, you know, Carl's Fat Small Engine's been here for 35 years and we're open for business. So bring down your hedgers, hedgers, mowers, floors, pumps, and compressors. But the owner would like to retire. So if you have interest in having a lawnmower shop of your own and being the mower guy, come and see us at Carl's Bad Small Engine.